continue our coverage of full field rundown for the Breeders Cup Challenge. We're going to the Whitney. Today's video is brought to you by Assiniboy Downs Gaming and Event Center. Be sure to tune into this channel live Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern for Monday Night Lights, hosted by Trust the Profits. Trust the Profits is the formula here, and we are going to be talking about the Whitney Stakes today. Full field rundown. It is a Breeders' Cup Challenge win and you're in. It is going to be run on August 5th, 2023 at Saratoga. It's a G1 nine furlongs on dirt we only have six horses entered but they are of quality standing so these are some pretty good horses to be watching here with one in particular that is going to be leading the charge against the rest I think you know which one i'm talking about but let's go ahead and get started shall we let's start with zandon nearly always a lock for second place right that was the joke about zandon when uh when he was making his run towards the uh, Kentucky Derby in 2022. Uh, last time out, he did finish second to Cody's Wish, three and a quarter lengths back, and that was in the Metropolitan Handicap. Before that, he had a second place finish. How about that? Against Repo Rocks at the Westchester, a G3. Um, and then Cigar Mile broke the streak right there. Fourth place finish, two and a half lengths back, so not too far behind mind control on that. He is a deep closer, as you know. He needs... Uh, pace set up properly for him to get those openings he needs the pace to the pace setters to tire a bit in order for him to make the most of his opportunities chad brown horse here flabian pratt most likely the uh the jockey here for zandon uh is he going to be a play for finishing in the money if he hands uh if he sticks to his second place finishes he will uh he will achieve that feat as you can see there from the numbers 10 out of 11 not too shabby for zandon White Barrio, up and down career for White Barrio. Um, four out of five wins came when he was on the Derby Trail in 2022. One win in seven races since then, and all five wins have come at Gulf Stream under Safi Joseph Jr. So, White Barrio is uh, definitely coming into this race. Probably not the obvious horse to look at, although he has been looking up. I will say that. So last time out, he did have a third place finish in the Metropolitan Stakes. He was neck and neck with Zandon for second place behind Cody's Wish. Uh, third place at the Cigar Mile behind Mind Control and get her number. He did beat Zandon in that one, so the two have been trading punches back and forth. Uh, I do kind of like White Abario. He had some downs after the Derby. He, um, I mean, he didn't look all that great in the Derby, and then he had a, a, a down sweep after that. He was being shipped around. Never really found a good place to win. Um, his, his one win since then has come at GP in an allowance claiming race don't think he's going to be winning here but definitely discussion for finishing in the money last samurai last time out fourth place uh versus west will power rattle and roll happy american and he was behind them by uh three or he was behind the winner by three and a quarter lengths in that one ran the alashiba came in fourth place there to smile happy art collector west will power by losing by 11 lengths there won the Razorback I mean this is a horse uh, you're going to see what I've noticed is Oaklawn Park if if last samurai is at Oaklawn Park go ahead and bet West Samurai if you exclude everything from Oaklawn Park he starts to look a little bit less impressive right so his last win um, beat West Will Power by one and a half lengths at the Razorback in in Oaklawn Park Two wins, one second place in his most in his three most recent races at Oaklawn. So yeah, uh, where's this race going to be run? Saratoga. Sorry, Last Samurai. Charge it. A lot of people got really behind this horse um, in 2022, going into the Derby. Todd Pletcher, tap it. Um, last time out, he got a first place finish at the Suburban Stakes in Belmont, going uh, one and a quarter miles in that one. Really let, nice long distance race. Tap it lineage. Winning by four and three quarter lengths there. It was a small field and it wasn't that impressive of a field, but a win's a win. Previous to that, he was fourth place in that Metropolitan that featured four of these horses. Four of these horses, if my count is correct. Cody's Wish, first place. Zandon White Abario, neck and neck for second and third. And then a couple lengths back from them was Charge It. Fifth place finish at Oak Lawn in the Oak Lawn Handicap, four and a half lengths. Losing to Proxy, Last Samurai, Stiletto Boy. 17th place finish in that 2022 Derby. 
yeah, a lot of people really high on charge it early on. He was, uh, he was one of the young horses coming out that was just entering the Derby trail a little bit late. A lot of people got behind him, but he has sort of fallen off a bit since then. Cody's wish nine wins and 13 races. So you can do the math on that. Um, winner of six in a row, including four G ones in a row, never went further than a mile in any of them though. So that would be the one knock I have on Cody's wish right now is that he's been really knocking out one milers, maybe a seven for a long race here and there. But where's he at when it comes to a nine for a long race, adding on that extra furlong, how is he going to be able to handle that? the way he's beating these horses, you would think, yeah, he'll be able to handle it. But it is a fair question to ask, I believe. Anywho, we talked about the Metropolitan already. We had three horses where we talked about that. We know he won. Churchill Downs, again, another huge win there. Four and three quarter lengths over Hoist the Gold. Less than one second off the track record in that one, which I thought was uh, fairly impressive. He beat Cyberknife by a head in the BC Dirt Mile. Uh, last time he w lost was uh, March 2022 in the Challenger Stakes, losing by a neck, going eight and a half furlongs there. So he's gone the distance before, came really close there. But I would say if, if there's anything you want to short on Cody's wish, he's won at two morning lines. So if you feel like you got a chance to short him, go ahead. But this is Cody's wish. He's been racking up wins like no one's business and doing it with, uh, with a lot of distance between him and everyone else. So is tacking on an extra furlong going to make a difference? Wait and see. Finally, we've got Giant Game, three wins in 10 races last time out. He was the winner at the Prairie Meadows Corn Sucker Handicap. Corn Sucker? Corn Shucker? Well, you be the judge of that. Uh, he won that by three and a quarter lengths over Skippy Longstock in an Ain't, that, ain't Life Grand. He wired. Again, he wired the race. Um, an allowance race he had, a nine and a half for a long affair at Churchill Downs, winning by three and a quarter lengths over Tiwanaku. Uh, previous to that, um, started in the back. It, so those last two races he wired, which is interesting. Everything up up till that point with Giant Game that I noticed is he would start in the back, move his way up. He would be a deep closer. But then all of a sudden he switched and he won two races in a row, wiring, getting out in front, setting the pace and, and turning on the steam. Granted, these aren't races where he's facing White Barrios and in heaven forbid Cody's wish. But this is a bit of a different play here for Giant Game. Could be the pace setter in this race. Um, it'll be interesting to see what he does here. And I'm very curious as he is a 20 to 1 morning line. We're at the end here. So what are we going to say? Cody's Wish. I think that's the obvious winner right here, right? Cody's Wish. You can't really... It's going to be hard to bet against him. Um, if I'm going to key... And granted, he's, he's 1 to 2, so... You know, setting up a key with three horses is, is a bit deadly here. But assuming that line does move, wh what am I thinking here? I like White of Barrio. I like him a little bit better than Zandon. I don't like Charger. You notice I left him out. I don't like Last Samurai. Kind of tipped my hand there saying I didn't care for him if he's not on Oak Lawn. That leaves me a giant game who's had two pretty impressive races recently. Obviously, the class not exactly up to where this one is. But change in style. Um Getting out in front, that might serve him a little bit better here, and he might be able to hold on for a, a place or a show here. So that's what I've got. What do you guys have as I exit out of my screen show here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you guys have? Cody's Wish. Is he the obvious winner? One to two morning line? We just expect him to win based on what he's done past six races. Or do you see someone else out there? Who do you pair him with? Uh, is Charge It going to show something that we haven't seen from him in a while? Hit us up in the comments section. Let me know. Thank you.